And then I press that. Oops. Okay, hey y'all. Let us please discuss Amazon and how they pissed me off this morning. And after this, we're going to go play Splendor again. So, I'm going to try to get as upset as I was this morning while not getting as upset as I was this morning. Because when I tell you I was livid, like to the point where I wanted to go to Amazon headquarters and... Mm, we're not going to say that. That might come for me. But anyway, so while in school a couple of semesters ago, I had a couple of extra books. You know how you're in college and you want to sell your books back or whatever, and the college wants to be douchebag and not buy them back. So what us broke college students and, more importantly, dancers do is we sell our stuff for money. So not like our bodies or anything, or, well, in some cases we do, but I was selling my books on Amazon, basically. Let's sum that up, okay? So, I sold my books, and I was like, okay, woo-woo, I got some money coming in, woo-woo. So, I was told that on the 11th, which is today, that my money would be shit or sent to me. So, I'm like, okay, woo-woo, in my account. So, I'm like, all right, money in the account, woo-woo, we going out tonight, all that. Had plans and everything. So, this morning, I get an email from Amazon telling me, on the day, on, get that, on the day that you were supposed to credit my account the money, you tell me that, look, you don't have a separate credit card for your funds that you received from the person who bought your book on Amazon to go on to, but you have my credit card that you billed for the little $15 it costs to actually sell your stuff on Amazon, so you have that credit card information. But you tell me I need to give you a separate credit card information or the same information twice in order for you to send me my money. So I'm like, okay, whatever, no problem. It shouldn't, I guess I'll get up and do that right now. This is at like 7 o'clock this morning. So I get up, you know, submit my little information and stuff, and I'm like, okay, do to do, there we go. So I get another email almost immediately after I send it saying, okay, thank you for your new credit card information. We will be sending your funds to your account on the 18th of August. On the 18th of who? So, I'm not, I'm reading the email like, I, maybe that's a typo. On the 18th of August, that's like next week. That's a whole another seven days. Mind you, mind you, let me tell you when I shipped the book. I shipped the book today, Saturday. So, I shipped the book on the 4th. Lady got the book by Wednesday the 8th. The money should have been in my account on the 11th, today. Now you're telling me that you won't be any and up until the 18th with my money that I was supposed to use to go out tonight. Oh, hell no. So I was going ape shit. I went and emailed Amazon. Let me, I'm going to read all the emails because I was pissed to the point where I was like, you know what? I don't give a fuck. Y'all can get a piece of my mind. Where's I sent it through number one fame master, I think. Sent. Yep, here it is. Okay. So, here's the email that I sent them. It goes a little something like this. Hello, this is Darrell. Is you okay? Good, because I want to know. I have a seller's account, and I am pissed off. You have done me wrong as a customer and seller here on this site. I have yet to see my money from something I sold and have completely ruined my weekend. I would appreciate some more courtesy in this matter because I ain't happy. Thank you. And if you need proof that that's what the hell I sent, there's your proof. So, I was livid, like pissed off. Because not only did I have plans, I told y'all I was going to be at Tavo. Didn't I tell y'all I was going to be at Tavo tonight? No, I won't. Why? Because I'm broke as fuck and I don't have no money. <laughs> So, do not go to Tavo tonight looking for the fame master because he will not be there. So, I'm just like, really? Amazon is so unprofessional. We're like, here's what, this is the situ This is the scenario I came up with in my mind. I was like, okay, had you told me on the 4th when I, oh, that's the get you gotcha. They said if you had updated your credit card information 24 hours prior to the date that you were supposed to receive it, which was today, it would have been able to be credit onto my account. So had you told me that on the 4th, when I pushed the little button on Amazon.com and said I shipped the book, that you need an extra credit card number, then we would have been able to alleviate this problem altogether. 
But no, you wait to the day that you're supposed to ante up my money to tell me that you need extra credit card information and it's going to take you a whole nother week to give me my damn money. Oh, I was pissed. I'm I'm still pissed out there. I think I done got all warm again and upset. Because I was... I was just like, you G fucking H. You have to be joking me. Like, blessed are the children if you believe that you're going to get away with this Amazon. And I told my... I was on the phone with my cousin this morning going off like, I'm not only going to write them a letter, I'm going to make a video and I'm going to tell everybody that Amazon is so rude and so unprofessional with their goddamn business and I don't know if eBay is this rude, but I'm over Amazon's ass. I'm checking out. I'm taking all my books that I'm selling back and sending them to goddamn eBay. If you have any recommendations about eBay, please let me know in the down below bar just in case. I don't want to have to deal with this again. But Amazon is done. I'm so done with their asses. And I hope somebody, one of the Amazon representatives, sees this email or this message, this video, this PSA that Darrell... Pearson is pissed. The fame monster, you have pushed me over the edge, Amazon, and I'm not happy about it, so. With that being said, me and Perry are about to go play Splendor. Peace. Oh, unprofessional ass bastards.